Are you tired of low FPS and constant lag in Fortnite Chapter 6? In this video, I'll show you the ultimate FPS boost guide to skyrocket your performance on any low-end PC. Whether you're struggling with stutters input delay or lag, this guide will help you achieve max FPS and zero lag. So let's jump into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for the optimization of your ping while you play games, using your wired or wireless connection, so get this paid program free from my description, and play your game with lower ping. Alright, then you wanna launch Fortnite and you wanna head over to your in-game settings, and right now we're gonna be going over the best settings to boost your FPS and reduce your input today in the new Fortnite season. So, for your window mode, you want to make sure that you're on full screen if you're playing on native. Anyways, you wanna make sure that your V-Sync is turned off, nobody even uses it. You want to make sure that your frame rate limit is capped to your monitor's refresh rate. So for me, it's going to be 144. Then you want to make sure that your rendering mode is on performance mode. Your graphics is personal preference, but I do have it on 125 brightness and try clean up 8. You want to make sure that your 3D resolution is anywhere between 75 to 85%. This will actually boost your FPS a lot because when you tune your 3D resolution a little bit down, you're going to be rendering less pixels, which results in more FPS and less input delay. But for me, I like my game to look good, so I usually have it on 90%. Then for your view distance, it does not really impact your FPS that much, so I'm going to keep it on 4. Then you want to make sure that your textures are on low and your meshes on low as well. So you want to go ahead and download the FPS boost pack and extract it. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. This will drastically improve your FPS as well as fix all your FPS drops. Anyways, you want to go ahead and click on the ultimate performance power plan. What this will do, it's basically going to enable the ultimate performance power plan. As you guys can see, the ultimate performance power plan is now enabled. So you want to head over to your power options and you want to go ahead and click on power options right here. And as you guys can see, ultimate performance is right there. So you want to go ahead and select that. This ultimate performance power plan will basically utilize power on your system in order to improve performance on your PC. Next, we will find out MSI utility which will help us optimizing our GPU, whatever that is a low-end GPU or a high-end GPU. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. So now once you open up the MSI, you need to go for your GPU model that whatever that is, I have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. You need to go for it, go for this drop-down and set it onto the high purity. After that, click on the supply button and simply close out your MSI and you can also delete this application from your PC. Then you wanna head back over to the FPS boost pack. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. And you wanna go ahead and click on the clean PC tool. Make sure that you run the clean cache as administrator. And here you just wanna go ahead and apply all the options one by one. Then you wanna go ahead and click on exit. And what this will basically do is gonna fully deblow your PC, basically removing any cache or unwanted files on your system in order to improve performance on your PC. Hey guys, now I'm going to recommend you Gear Up Booster, which you can grab for free using the link in the description. Just launch the tool, select Fortnite, and it will automatically connect you to the most optimal server for the lowest possible ping. As an example, I've managed to reduce my latency by 11 milliseconds, which has improved my overall performance by more than 100%. I've been using this for all the games I play on my PC, so be sure to check it out using the link in the description. Then you wanna head back over to the FPS Boost Pack. You can get this file from my official website. I give link in the description. Now you have the RAM tweaks, so you wanna go ahead and select the amount of RAM you have, and you wanna go ahead and double click and click on yes then okay what this will do is basically going to apply some ram tweak so basically it's going to edit your registry files in order to improve your ram now in the next step here we go to this nvidia potato graphics this can only you got with the nvidia inside you will find that nvidia profile inspector.exe file and here you will find the fortnite pair of settings this is pre-defined settings for the application so that is simply double tap here hit yes as well as you to go for this profile option go for fortnite and open up the Fortnite profile inside the Media Profile Inspector. I'm going to go for this import button, import either defined, import profile, and go for it and becomes open button and profile such as for the imported. 
and I'll hit OK and switch accurately apply all the bus settings for you. After then, you get now click on the Apply Jeans button and apply the settings on your PC. I love if you want to leave all the settings back to the normal, so here you will find out this option that is the Restore, Run Profile to Enemy Default. So click on this button and restore all your settings back to the normal then hit apply and save the settings. <laughs> Alright guys, then we're gonna be optimizing some Windows settings. They're really, really simple, but they do impact your game a lot. And the first thing is quite obvious, which is the game mode. Now guys, this is such a simple and easy setting, but trust me guys, it impacts your performance a lot. So you want to make sure to have game mode on if you're on Windows 11, but if you're on Windows 10, then make sure that you keep this off. The reason why is because game mode is more optimized on Windows 11. Then you want to head over to graphics right here. Then you want to make sure to have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turned on because as anyways, you want to head back over to graphics and you want to search for custom options for apps related on and on browse. Once you click on browse, you want to locate your Fortnite folder. It's basically going to be in Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64. And you want to make sure to click on Fortnite client Win64 shipping. I already have it. Anyways, once you do it, you're going to find it right here. And you want to go ahead and click on options and make sure to click on high performance. This will once again utilize the full performance of your GPU in order to get better performance. Anyways, you want to go ahead and click on save.